Vietnamese sandwiches. Hey guys, it's Weekly Rewind Time. Japanese researchers have invented a female humanoid and dog robot who can actually sniff your breath and feet and give you real feedback on the way it smells. Oh my god, this is insane! We're at a point in our society where we can make like the most sophisticated technology and machines and we're using it on what's probably gonna be a sex robot. And that floating head is like hardcore creepy. And with every breath it inhales, it's probably like one step closer to eating my face off. Besides, why pay a machine when you could just pay me to do it? I can do it. I need money. Asians behaving badly. an Asian wig bandit on the loose who is allegedly responsible for 15 robberies in Southern California. So I guess this is one of the many businesses that handle money transfers. Casually just walking in a store. Looks like Michael Jackson. So I'm just cool. Oh, look at that. I'm just gonna look at that. Oh, oh, I'm just gonna climb over. Oh, that wall was way higher than I thought. Never mind. Bye guys. Isn't that sad that the one video that goes viral of your 15 robberies is the one where you just completely fail? I just don't even know why they're having such a hard time finding this guy. I mean, he has the most specific description ever. He's Asian, he's a cross-dresser, he wears a wig, he's 5'9", and only robs businesses that handle money transfers to the Philippines. You can't get more specific than that! Plus, Asian guys don't even grow to be 5'9", so just look for our tallest one. A man in Alaska has caught what is thought to be a 200-year-old fish. God, the things that fish probably have seen and forgotten like three seconds. <laughs> you know, get it? Fun fact, fish have really bad memory. Remember that one time where we decided we we're gonna do an Amy's fave thing of the week and it only happened once and never ever again? Well, it's time for another one of Amy's fave things of the week. This week is definitely this pet safety video. Hi, I'm Dr. Ernie Ward. So I thought I would put myself in a parked car and let's see just how hot it gets. Come on. So I'm your pet and I'm now in the car. Let's start a timer and let's see exactly how hot it gets in here. If I'm 10 minutes in, I'm beginning to wonder if this was a very bad idea indeed. And I can do that. A dog can't. Never, ever leave your pet in a parked car during warm weather. Oh, what a great guy. Vet Dr. Ernie Ward actually sat in a parked car on a hot summer day for 30 minutes to see what it was like to be a dog stuck in a car while us little humans, you know, did whatever we wanted, like go eat, get a coffee, get a Brazilian bikini wax, you know, whatever. And it got hot, like really hot. Poor Ernie was sweating his balls off. And dogs can't even sweat, so can you imagine? They're just sitting in there roasting with dry balls. So thank you, Ernie, for letting us know that we should never, ever, ever leave our pets in the car on a hot summer day. But kids and grandparents are okay, right? They don't have balls. Last week, the question was, what is your favorite thing to cook? Alex Wynn said, Amy face cookies with a really weird face, like those emoticons. Is that like a negative thing? Like Amy face cookies aren't good? The Lazy Asian said, I like to cook poop tea. I do too! I mean, I don't like to cook it, I like to drink it. No, 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 not, not like the kind that like has poop in it. It just, you drink it and it makes you poop. It's the best thing ever. Is that weird? This week's question is, what is your favorite body odor story? Get it? You know, because we talked about that Japanese smelly thing? Body odor? <sighs> Thanks guys, make sure to click on the links below to get more on these stories on isatv.com and subscribe to isatv to get more me. We will leave you now with the music video of the week, an awesome violin cover by Paul Dodd. <laughs>